name's Keith and this is a tutorial on how I edit my personal photos. If you've ever seen any of my, any of my photos uh, on my Facebook account or on my website uh, MaximilianoVictor.com uh, or my Zenfo Zenfolio account uh, and you ever wondered what exact settings I use uh, to edit uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you uh, how I do uh, how I do it and uh, this is not the uh, correct way to do it. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. This is just how I personally prefer to edit my photos. So first of all, let's pull up a picture and I pre-chose this one uh, just to just because I liked it. It's a previous one that I, I just shot uh, last week. So so let me pull it up. Uh, bring it up in bridge or I mean, I'm sorry, I'm bringing up in a camera raw and this is a uh, camera raw CC I believe so here's the uh, picture uh, what I try to do in the beginning is try to get good lighting uh, in this particular picture I was using the kit lens I couldn't use my 50 millimeter I actually always use my uh, 50 millimeter but in this uh, case I used the kit lens because uh, I was just way too close to the subjects and uh, we're actually on a stage right now and there was not too much room on the stage so I uh, put in my my kit lens and uh, normally I would have this background right here all blurred but as you can see it's not blurred so and then also um, I had a light directly hitting them and then I had my speed light uh, bouncing off the ceiling and hitting them downwards so I got two light sources uh, hitting them. So okay, so here's how I edit my photos. Uh, first of all, I come over here, and um, these little tab tabs right here. I like to go in an orderly fashion, so I like to start with this one first. And I say okay. Um, usually these are already corrected. I correct that on the camera. Uh, if I accidentally mess up and it's not corrected, then I just correct it right here. And this is basically uh, fixes uh, the coloring. So you got like crazy stuff like that. So as shot, that's how I shot it. And I, I customize my own uh, white balance on the camera. So that way I don't have to do it here in editing. Okay, and the next I do this portion and uh, sometimes I just press auto but sometimes auto doesn't really work as you see it did not work see these highlights right there right there they're way too bright and on top of that this is um, a club so you don't want it to be that bright as well so let's bring that exposure down I would say like about right there that's good or you could bring it down more and put in your highlights more just like that I'll just choose that though bring my exposure up and then what I do is um, I would get into that but actually I want to see this as, as crisp as I possibly can uh, to edit the rest I always start out with uh, the exposure first though so I can actually see what I'm editing and then I, I'm going to skip over here real quick to the sharpening, bring my sharpening all the way up, bring the radius all the way up. Detail, I keep it all the way down. Uh, it does get detail. Just, you can kind of see. See, it kind of makes it look ugly like that. So I like to keep that all the way down. I like to put a little mask. This is going. This What this is going to create right here is just a little... Um, kind of like a silk silky skin or like kind of like smooth skin sort of and that just helps to create that and then for this right here you have to zoom in to actually know why I use this right here so you see all you see all that right there that's noise that looks ugly all that that's all ugly right there so you want to get rid of all that and this right here noise reduction you can actually pull that up and it smooths it out right there as you can see and color smoothness I bring that all the way up 
and right there you got a really smooth wall and uh, this stuff doesn't actually show up in Facebook but the originals it does so I create all my pictures so that way you can uh, blow them up poster size if you ever wanted to uh, but actually few of my photos have ever been blown up poster size but uh, but yeah like like Facebook that wouldn't actually show up it wouldn't come crisp clear like that because uh, Facebook actually reduces the quality of the pictures and so anyways that's the best uh, so there you go you see that how it looks a lot lot better okay I'm gonna go back over to this screen my original screen I'm gonna get my clarity I'm gonna bring it a little bit up I don't like to go too much up because it becomes unrealistic I like to stay in the realm of realistic you see that's all the way up right there and that's like wow that's like really sharp the only thing it it causes like black under the eyes it just causes uh, the contrast to be very contrasty so cool effect but I just keep it down like that and every so often I'll, I'll use that effect really high this right here I, I go next vibrance I bring it up uh, this kind of gives a little kick to the coloring and then um, next is this I hardly ever mess with this but you can mess with it every so often I do use it but I use it in uh, in Photoshop CC but uh, I should actually use it here uh, it would be better but I actually just save it for Photoshop CC okay and then next I already did that I go over here and uh, I use these only if uh, I feel that the coloring needs to be corrected here it's all good um, if I had to do anything like if I had to use this particular tab to edit which I don't want to edit and use this tab but if like I had to I'd probably bring down this red right here it's way too bright so what would I do with that is I'd go to the saturation and I would bring down just the red just a little bit just so it can match the rest of the picture like so and I bring up the luminance just like so and that's all and the hue I probably wouldn't but if I had to mess with it I'd probably just mess with skin tones and you can mess with them like this but sometimes you can actually mess up using this because you know what I mean this the skin turns green so I don't really like to mess with that unless I have to unless my tollies my lights way off and and I'm having to do like crazy tricks to, to fix the picture this one I use um, probably about 20 percent of the time 10 percent I like to put it right here in the, the purple spot purple purple area that doesn't do nothing unless you mess with this bottom dial so I bring in the contrast and this is gonna mess with the highlights as you see it doesn't look good at all so for this particular picture I wouldn't use it that one looks kinda cool it's kinda cool but I'm not, I don't want to use it though not for this picture but uh, the next one let's see um, I use this sometimes this is just a little big name it's alright but this one's the, the more heavier big name and this I do use on every one of my photos I like to big name just slightly but not too intense so it's noticeable and the reason for that is because I want your attention on the subject which is right here and I like to blacken all this area so that way your attention doesn't go over here and this just helps a little bit even though there's nothing really over there to see but if you see there there's a little thing right there I don't, I don't want your attention on that so I'll kind of ignite it just slightly though not too much uh, next one I do use this one right here I don't really mess with these at all but I do use this one and this kind of makes the photo look kind of old uh, but in this particular shot uh, I don't I didn't use it uh, see. it's kind of cool but I didn't use it though uh, what I did do though was turn the dial this way you see it kind of color corrected everything so there's the shot with zero and then there's with five I don't know what do you want I'll just stick with that one yeah I'll just stick with zero that's fine 
Okay, and then I'm done with that. Then I open the image, pulls it up on Photoshop CC, and uh, on this particular part, I cannot show you the the full uh, way that I edit on this, only because uh, I got a new computer and. Uh, all my actions are downloaded in my other computer. So as you see, um, see, I don't even have the setup all corrected exactly how I like uh, on my my other computer. This is not here, so I guess you would fix that right here. I don't want to see the I don't want to see the timeline, and I have the history bar is gone. So and actions right there. So here's all the actions I have, and these, I don't use any of those. All my other actions. So anyways, that's uh, pretty much done right there. Okay, and as you can see, uh, this photo uh, does not need any editing. If I had to edit anything, I would probably blur the background. And, uh, but again, I don't feel... Uh, like I need to blur it. The photo looks great, so I'm just going to keep it like that. And that's the end. Thanks, and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I intend on doing more tutorials.